Ooh, I love the energy there, snoozer. Well, there's a good reason to be energetic because today we have so many things planned. We like to always go through the special things happening each month, and this month is packed full of cool things. How about this one? I bet you didn't know about this one. On February 11th, it is National Inventors Day. Ooh, I like that one. That's a special one to me because I am Checkers the Inventor. I come up with different inventions like this here. This is called the Cool Tool. This thing can freeze anything. Remember the time that Snoozer, you were going up in that rocket ship and there was a hole in the rocket and I had to use my cool tool to freeze it. Do you remember that? Do I remember that? Oh, police! It was the scariest moment of my life! There I was, ready for a peaceful trip to the moon when there was a hole in my rocket ship! Unbelievable! But it worked out okay, thanks to the cool tool. Woo! That was close. Yeah, I've got that one, and I've got the expander. That's the one that makes things grow bigger. I love the expander. Checkers uses it to make big poles and stuff. One time, I used it to make a giant beanstalk. Hee <laughs> Now, inventing is all about problem solving. You have something come up and you need to come up with a solution to that problem and you get creative. You use your imagination and think of an idea. Sometimes that's building something like a real invention. Sometimes that's working with something with a group on a team project, something like that. There's so many times where you come across something you need to solve that challenge and that's what all great inventors do. They are very imaginative and they love to learn. So all the great inventors, they spent lots of times going at the library for hours and hours reading different books. And whenever they came across something they didn't understand or wanted to know more about, they would head out to the library and learn that thing. And the great thing you guys can do if you don't know something is go to the library and ask a librarian if they could help you out with something. If you want to learn more about a person, a place, a thing, if you have something you want to try to solve you don't understand like uh, having trouble changing a light bulb or anything funny like that that's something you could learn more about at the library now I also like talking about inventors who maybe aren't real but we can still learn things from and the one I want to talk about today is Willy Wonka Willy Wonka I love him I can't wait to talk about him next right here on Chester's Library TV did you know the oldest library in from the 7th century BC. One of the most overdue library books in the world was returned after 122 years. There's a magician's library in New York. Ebra Cadabra! Librarians used to have to learn a specific style of handwriting. The library has tons of books about Visit the library to learn more. Welcome to Checkers Loves Books. I am going to be recommending books that I think you should be reading. We have books for younger readers and we have books for older readers. And today we have a very special book for younger readers that I want to talk about. It is called The Quilt Maker's Gift. This is a great book that I read when I was younger. It was one of my favorite books, actually. It is about a greedy king. He's materialistic. That means he likes to collect a lot of things. He's got a castle just full of stuff. He's got crowns and swords and all these giant chairs and chalices and all these, uh, all these things he likes to collect. But this king comes across a quilt maker. That's somebody who makes quilts. And the problem is she only makes quilts for the poor, for people who really need her quilts. And he wants one, but she says she'll only give it to him if he gives away all of his possessions. Now, I read this book when I was when I was younger, like just like you guys are, and it was one of my favorites because first, it had amazing illustrations. All the pictures in the book, they're very colorful. I used to look at these for hours, and the book is just full of great illustrations. Also, the book has a great message about possessions and greed and how much stuff we have and does that really make us happy. It's an amazing book. I don't want to give it away, but I really think you should read it. It's a great story and it's great for families. You can have your mom and dad read it to you. That would be a lot of fun. Now, you can ask your library if they have this book. They just may. If they don't have the book, maybe they'll order it for you or they might give you another book they might recommend that's kind of similar that they think you'll also enjoy. And that's the great thing about libraries. They have so many different books for you. So, 
if one book's not available or somebody checked it out, that happens to me sometimes, you can always check out another book. So don't forget, that's the book. It is called The Quilt Maker's Gift. And now is a part of the show where I want to talk about a book that I'm going to recommend for some of the older readers, uh, a book that I think you might be able to read all by yourself, which is called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now, I'm sure a lot of people may have heard of this book before. There were two different movies made about it, so you may have seen the movie. You might have read the book before in class or at home. It's a great story about a little poor boy named Charlie Buckets who lives with his four grandparents and his mom and dad, and the family's very poor, but all of a sudden, something comes to them, something really exciting, when a famous and strange inventor named Willy Wonka has a contest where all across the world he's inviting five lucky winners to his chocolate factory that no one had ever visited before. And the only way to win is to find a golden ticket inside their chocolate bar. Now, amazingly, Charlie finds a golden ticket and he wins a trip to the chocolate factory. Now, I'm not going to tell you what happens next, but there's all sorts of cool, strange rooms and amazing machines in the factory and all sorts of cool stuff happens. I don't want to tell you anything else. You just have to read the book. It was one of my favorites when I was younger. I also love the movies that were made about it. There was one called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and one called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You may have seen one of them. You may have seen both the movies, but definitely read this book. There's some stuff in the book that wasn't in the movie that you might have never heard of before and you're going to love it. So this might be a book you can read by yourself and actually if you are one of the younger readers, maybe your mom and dad could read this book to you because you might enjoy it as well. Another book to check out at the library. Well, thanks very much for joining me today. We talked about The Quilt Maker's Gift and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And we'll be back next week because we have two new books we're going to recommend here on Checkers Loves Books on Checkers Library TV. Checkers Library TV.